Hello everyone, let's talk about Pedro Rodriguez. For those of you who don't know, he is an ex serial killer and he currently has 21.4 thousand of subscribers on YouTube. Um, that's not bad, I have six. So uh, let's um, briefly talk about him and his crimes. He was born on um, July 17, 1954. Uh, he was born into a very, very violent family. His father abused his mother and him and he was born with a fractured skull because his father punched his mother when she was pregnant with him. Uh, his first murder was the murder of um, deputy mayor and a security guard, guard in a high school that his father worked at because the deputy mayor fired his father um, on accounts of suspected thievery. And Pedro thought it was unfair. He wanted to seek justice. Then he moved to get away from those crimes. He moved and he met a girl named Maria Olympia. She became pregnant with his child and he loved her. Um, but unfortunately, she was killed by a rival gang member. member. Um, he was very upset about this and started to um, collect soldiers and support to find who was responsible for Maria's death. And he killed and tortured a lot of people until he was finally able to find out who killed her. Then he went to jail, and at that time, oh, before I say anything, uh, Pedro was 13 when he killed the, the um, deputy mayor and the security guard. That was his first crimes. Then, he, but by the time he was 18, he already committed more than 10 um, murders. Let's continue. So, wh wh while in jail, he learned that his mother was brutally murdered, and. Uh, was she was dismembered her body was dismembered by a machete so he seeks revenge he wants to find the killer in jail he finds the killer and stabs him 22 times the killer that brutally murdered his mother was his father so he kills his father uh, while in prison he kills more than 47 prisoners it's interesting to note because a lot of opinions on Pedro Rodriguez divide some people say that he was a vigilante, that he was a hero, because he mostly, now, some of his victims were not criminals, they were innocent people, but most of the, his killers, the majority of his killers, were criminals, they were rapists, they were other killers, or, and, and he believed that they did not deserve to live, that's why he killed them. But other people are saying that, well, he really had no right to kill other killers or rapists, it, it wasn't his job. So, as I said, when he was in prison, he committed, uh, he killed more than 47 people and the prisoners are, you know, <laughs> no surprise, they, they started to hate him and they wanted to kill him. Um, some people are saying that it was rep reportedly said that at one point, five men attacked Pedro and he got away. He killed three of them and injured two. Not gonna lie, that's pretty impressive when you get away uh, from uh, being attacked by five people. Um, so, um, to go back to my surprise about him having a YouTube channel and him being free, that is because in Brazil, and he committed a lot of his murders in Brazil, he's from Brazil, I don't think he speaks any English because I watched, I, I tried to watch his YouTube content, but I couldn't because it was all in um, Portuguese. So in Brazil, there's a law that states that um, you cannot keep, keep a sane person in prison for more than 30 years total. Um, after 34 years, he was released in prison. Um, four years because he killed the prisoners in jail. In 2011, he was arrested for a non-murder related crime. And he was re released from prison in 2018. Which goes back to my original comment about YouTube channel. Now he's living, living a free life, and ha has a YouTube channel. Um, so he committed more than a hundred murders and spent forty-two years in prison. In my opinion, that is awfully disproportionate. So, what do you guys think? Was he a vigilante or a cold-blooded killer? I don't know. Um, it's very difficult to say. Um, because because he did have a, an extremely difficult childhood, but at the same time, that's not an excuse. A lot of people have very difficult difficult childhoods that don't become serial killers. Um, and I, I don't know. Uh, it, it just it's very 
interesting that a, a, a serial killer uh, would have his own YouTube channel and would, would, would live freely. Um, you know, I can imagine his, the, the, the family of his victims um, probably, you know, are not on the same page um, as, as the Brazilian law. But that being said, you know, it is what it is. So yeah, that's, um, that's on Pedro Rodriguez.